Yeah. So is this the poker? Yeah. Oh my God. Rudy, you know who balloon you just popped? Yeah. You know? No, I don't know. I don't know her, you but. Don't know her? Come here, baby. Nah, I don't. That's sad. Come here. You don't know her. You nah, don't I don't. Cable TV. Cable? <laughs> if you don't know me, you don't got cable. OCDA is an acronym for Occupational Cares Diversity Affairs. Uh, and what we do is people go to my website, they file a complaint about their boss or their supervisor, anything like that. We show it to the job and we cut their ass out. Producer yeah, ever. See how he just fixes that on the fly, on the spot. Come on now. Hey, too many to do that. Yeah, I mean, we hey. that yeah, yeah, that's he, he yeah. keeps us right. He just keeps us right. All right, disjoinians. Since y'all ain't here that the first time, disjoinians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You got to sometimes you got to know how to you know you know how to work. You got to yeah. fix that cookie something. Oh, yeah. I was about to say you got to finagle it. <laughs> Gotta you gotta finagle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, El Boogie yeah. was good, baby was boy. Good. How you been, doggy? So look, well, since we done missed the whole, you know, introduction, that part I can edit out, no problem. Um, but we rolling now. We got five viral videos to react to tonight. Yes, sir. Hell of a show as usual. We got some funny shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And just for y'all out there that don't know, like this ain't this not rehearsed. We don't we don't go over this stuff. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you just get real raw reactions. Yeah, to <laughs> right, real videos. And one of these days, y'all want to actually really see me slap the shit out of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't think we'd get there this quick. But um, oh, there he go, I <laughs> spokesperson. This show on podcast does not condone violence, <laughs> and so we definitely respect the community. And we the respect the guidelines. And the guy <laughs> Thank you. Got to respect the guidelines. Yeah, he rehearsed that YouTube. <laughs> oh man, so listen, man. Without further ado, shall we go to the first video? Video number one. Video I mean, number we ready? Oh no. Sure. So what we got? We got the very first video, the Pop the Balloon Show. <laughs> you know, T. I know you haven't looked at the Pop the Balloon Show. No, I didn't. Never. No. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. You know what it's about? Ever, 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 ever. Ever, ever, ever. She lives in the cave. She don't watch TV. She don't do that. She don't go outside. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a sheltered woman. Uh, I know. What do they call shut ins? <laughs> yeah. She, all she does is in the, the crib just burn the treads off that motherfucking. <laughs> Look, I got my new toy. Uh, hey, uh, uh, video, video number, number one. one. So. <laughs> Ebony Mystique and Roga or I Ruga. Burned, I burned that one to the, uh, to the core. Can we edit that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Because y'all can say y'all crap and I can't say mine. No. We not editing nothing out. Ebony Mystique yeah, and Ruga. Yeah, yeah. Ebony and Ruga go at it on the Pop the Balloon show. <laughs> um, apparently they didn't find love. So let's... Uh, T fucked me up so bad. Let's, <laughs> let's check it out. Let's see what went Thank wrong. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. And it's this jump podcast. Oh. <laughs> let's go. Hey. She couldn't handle being rejected. So is this the poker? Yeah. Oh, my God. Rudy, you know who balloon you just popped? Yeah. You know her? No, I don't know. I don't know her, you but. Don't know her? Come here, baby. Nah, I don't. Come here. You don't know her. You don't nah, I don't. Cable TV. Cable? If you don't know me, you don't got cable. If you don't got me, you don't got Wi-Fi. I, I grew up in the trenches. We ain't had cable. Okay, it's okay. Well, what's up? Well, what I'm here for? <laughs> I'm not used to the nose, <laughs> but let's but get it. I'm what's just, up? Why did you pop her balloon? Um, I won't lie. I think it's the piercings and everything for me. It's like I know it's probably something that you like, but me personally, I think it's a little too much for me. And I won't lie, it's the... I like your swag, you know what I'm saying? I see you with the Louis. Ain't nothing wrong. You, you dress nice, but you just not my type, you know what I'm saying? What's your, but like, why? There has um, to be a reason. Yeah, what's your type? Everybody's type. So I take like, the why? face, I take the face kind of serious, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, once you do things to your face, it kind of like, I don't know. It's cool, but 
like it's certain things on your face like like, like the cheeks is personal what you do but just not for me they don't get in, in the middle of ducks or like anything it's just like mm -hmm. jewelry yeah, it's not about i'm like, an african sucks, so you know what i'm saying it's about just we just jewel your appearance period just just the day-to-day -day base just you know what i'm saying i could take them just not my type I, I i get it but it's still like you got holes there it's like i, I get it that's your preference dimple. maybe he's against dimples booty dimples cheek dimples let me get a 360. i get it okay i see you i mean it's not about the body it's just about like the, the body is cool too lying or nah, like nah, that. bro come on bro you got it you like gotta that. be truthful, bro. You know what I mean? Listen, before we start this, I, I want to say this. He kept saying, I, I want to be honest. You know, yeah, <laughs> listen, the boy looked down. Right. Hey, I don't want to be honest. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? You know, goddamn why. It's cool. You got the Louis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. You know I mean? Like, I ain't going to lie to you, but you let, yet and still, you're lying. Like, yeah, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. You're lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> listen, let me tell you something. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room. Elephant. All right, for one, she's a corn star looking for love. <laughs> that is the worst occupational choice to be looking for love. That and a stripper. And for two, all right. But she's still a human. She's still a woman. She deserves love just because that's her occupation. Yeah, oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah, whatever, oh, whatever, oh, man. Oh, like, we we, we gonna tune her out over there. You you listen. You <laughs> gave up that right once you started giving up the box. Yeah, yeah there you go. There you. Go. <laughs> <laughs> once the box got sold, <laughs> you have now been sold. You uh, sold. Yeah. What? <clears throat> she. All right. I have problem. I don't have problem with the BBL. If the BBLs are done right. They can look good. Oh my God, they can look good. Now, man, I'm being hypocritical. Them BBLs can look good. They done right. I'm gonna give you a quick BBL tutorial. If you if you're a small girl, you need a small BBL to make it look natural. Right. All right. If you're a big girl, you can get away with the big BBLs. But I wouldn't go with the big BBLs. You go with some little medium, John. That way it can look natural. Yeah, because her crab definitely was not proportioned her shit. right. Oh, her she looked shit. like she had two pillows back there. <laughs> she had a BBL, though. She had the Birmingham butt lifts. That, Damn. that wasn't from Brazil. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was Birmingham. She flew down to Birmingham <laughs> on Spirit by seventy four dollars oh thirty six cents. <laughs> she had to. It was all inclusive flight. <laughs> she got a Spirit flight with a BBL included. She had the Spirit BBL. <laughs> you know what I mean, her, it just did not look natural. It didn't. All right. I mean, she had skinny legs. All right. Let me tell you something. Yep. She the, had two the, medicine the, balls. The big. Tie ties, you can get away with. Yeah, you can get away with that. Fine, right. yeah, yeah. Th that was fine. Yeah, but you got too much injection, and in, and in, I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they walk, go to the doctor, be like, "Yo, I need ten W 40 <laughs> <laughs> I need like two quarts. She, <laughs> she got fat sucked out of her body, her sister's body, Damn. her aunt's body. She got too many people to give her fat. Right, just putting that butt. Cause that butt was way it, too big. It, it, that's what's in there because you know they be going places and they be getting the other artificial stuff inserted. But because see, what happens is is when they do get it done right, they take yeah. it from one part of your body to insert it in that part of the body. So, mm. all right, yeah. now this is this should. Have, uh oh, I'm sure that <laughs> I don't. Uh, you know, I don't mean to go in like that, but um, but. But I mean, when you go to the the surgeon, be like, listen, I'm. I, don't just hurt to say, listen, I recommend that you get this size and not this size, but that's because if you're he know what surgeon, what your body is proportioned to, right? right? That's if you go into a surgeon that's that's a that's legit and about you know, come on. So let's just say if I'm a dentist, I ain't gonna just be putting like little. Uh, bunny rabbit teeth on you and then you walking around <laughs> like come think, on think of you the shit right <laughs> she got her BBL from Turquavion damn oh, it was, damn it was on Groupon Turquavion is back y'all oh, he done into the building at already. least he got a job uh, <laughs> he do BBLs <laughs> in Birmingham $16 damn $16 yeah, the, Turquavion be working y'all yes. I swear he be all over the place I'm telling you he, he, he a big deal <laughs> Yeah, all right, no big deal. All right, look. Yeah, but if she went, let's just say, you know how how they be going. Uh, what's that? Um, Cancun, Dominica, and all that other stuff. Not uh, Colombia. I, I was about to say they go to South America. Yeah, yeah, because some 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 of them places they be going and they just do whatever they tell them to do. 
Like I know, I know somebody that went actually got something done here in Philly, and hers is fine. Yeah, because they took the fat from one part of her body, put and it in another. It. But they said we can't do no more than that. Well, I mean, listen, I mean, I you got like, a picture of her. But damn, yeah, no, I, I mean, can we be the judge? Because <laughs> you never know. It might, it might have been. You know, you might be being nice to her because that's your friend. <laughs> it might be a botched job to the rest of us, but we're going to let her live. <laughs> they who, like, who, wait, first of all, who is doing BBLs in Philly? <laughs> Please let me know. Some, it was some kind well, of... No, nah, nah, you know what that... I mean, listen, there was because it was... Or, you know, or she went to Jersey. Jersey or something like that, but she lives here in Philly, and I think she went over to Jersey. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, it's the same place that Saul went to. That's what she told oh, me. Dude. Whoever that Saul went to. Country Saul? Cooking. Yeah, so country talking about, you're talking about the, the little puppet that be killing people? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She told me it was the same place that uh the, everybody knows her as country cooking. Oh, the the, the yeah, the broad. Right. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the same place. Yep. The same place that she oh, went to. Oh, get she out said of here. That's where she went. Yep. Get the fuck. Yep. Well, I mean, like I said, if if you're gonna get it done, I mean, get it done right. You know, what I mean, not putting too much. Yeah, come on, because it doesn't. Don't it be doesn't looking look like, right, man. Do but not. at the end of the day, when the lights is off, you ain't you. Listen, don't you be humping, ain't you? That ain't got See? nothing to do with Look nothing. at you. Look at you. <laughs> you quiet now. You quiet now. <laughs> I'm just hoping you don't move one of them butt cheeks and the air come out of it. <laughs> and you try to spread them to get in there. And you just hear <laughs> Oh, my so God. My car got a flat. <laughs> You know what the sad part about it is, is because they be saying sometimes it's people that have died from those yes, injections. It's dangerous. It's just dangerous. You think that they're putting whatever they tell you that they putting in their fat, and it end up uh, somebody died because she had end, end up turning into semen or something like that. Well, I mean, shit, you don't it know what they hard. put. I mean, yeah, you could they could be putting motor oil in. Oh my god, you don't know. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't don't know that. I mean, listen, for one. And then it's, you see pictures of these girls bleeding all over the place. But it, they it, can't sit on the plane. They, they, they got to lay across on the, the plane. <laughs> oh my God. It's supposed to be an enhancement right. to what you already have. It, or ladies, just be comfortable with who you are. You What's got, wrong with that? You got a pancake? Let that pancake flap in the wind. <laughs> Damn, you know what? We're going to go to the comment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so first comment and from... from Rod Willis four four four. Rob said I got. I, he said I got cable, internet, social media, and I still don't know who she is. Facts. When she said that, I said who he the said hell you is she? You ain't got cable. She said you must have got Wi Fi. Yeah, you must have got Wi Fi. <laughs> Rob, she is a corn star. Rob. Oh, um, I mean, not like one of your. Let me look up. Let's see. Biggest celebrities. Um, Ebony Mystique. Um, but. For her to be going on to the uh, like a pop the balloon dating show, yeah, come on now. And then the boy did the no look pop. You ain't peeping, did you? Yes. He hit the. Oh, let me see. Is that a pen? Mm. <laughs> this is my thing. Just in general, women, you got to understand, you're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. So if somebody no. uh, rejection sometimes is a protection, and that's just like mm -hmm. on a whole positive note. Like mm -hmm. yeah, we 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 having fun with this, but at the end of the day, like look. Don't be chasing after no no damn man. Just don't do it. Like if, if he didn't want you, he fine. Want you. Like don't sit there and, and try to persuade him to to like you. No, move it, on. You know what it was? Her ego was bruised. Yeah, that too. She, you know what I mean? She is forty years old. What in the world? How old is she? Forty? Yes. <laughs> forty years old on a pot of balloon show? Oh, she does. Her birthday is in four days. She turns forty. Oh, okay. Not so <laughs> oh yeah, how many films was she in? Does it say? Mm, no. <laughs> what you gonna go look up? Uh, no, uh, the girl. No, Listen, I'm happy where I'm at now. You sure? Yeah, I'm happy where oh, I'm okay. at now. You know what I mean? I'm and happy where I'm at now. Let's go to comment number two. I'd be like, yeah, baby. I mean, yeah. uh oh, ladies, uh oh. It sounds like Los is occupied now. It sounds like yeah. he's in an occupation ship now. Yeah, y'all have it took too long. I got took. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Cuffing season is over for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was quick. Yeah, I mean, y'all y'all have been still too long. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, comment number two. So comment number two was from uh, Bera. Bera. Bera says he wanted to say more. <laughs> he did. I don't but, know why. 
He was so respectful. He was trying his hardest. Yeah, because it was like he kept being like caught in his thought. Like, yeah, like, like you, you cool and all, but. But I'm uh, just saying because uh, <laughs> I mean I don't really. It's the face. But because like, yeah, uh, but, then the holes. but you got the dimple. I mean, yeah. thing. And the, uh, but then it's gonna be a hole. I mean, you cool with yeah, the Louis. You dress, you dress but the, nice um, and all. I see you. You you got it. But um, yeah. Today. Uh, mm, yeah. yeah mm. <laughs> then he cracked me up because then he put his hand out. It was like he just stopped like, right he, there by his waist. He was pointing down at the BBL, but he didn't want to say it, like well because. Today, uh, Martin Luther King, <laughs> you know, it was observance of the holiday. <laughs> he did not want to. He, he did not want yeah, to right tell the truth, oh. man. Tell the truth, man. Shame the devil. Ain't that what they tell you? Shame the devil. Some people can't take the truth. Yeah, tell the truth. Shame, um, shame honey dip tea. Oh, no, no, so, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's do one more comment. Comment from Caribbean Cutie Pie. She says. <laughs> He know well enough it's not the piercings. Yes. 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 Like them goddamn them BBLs were struggling. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean? But like I said, it was the the upper body was good. Yeah, it was that She just body. didn't need so much on the bottom half. And the you lips. Don't need that much. You could tell her lips was done. Like she just again, like she overdid but it's, it. But is is I guess she does it because of whatever her lifestyle is. Like I mean, if y'all saying she's a corn star. But listen, but corn stars don't need that much. You ever heard of Jada but, Fire? You ever seen Jada Fire? Ooh. Jada Fire, ain't, she ain't need none of that. Yeah, but then if somebody's self esteem isn't Heather there. Heather Hunter, so. Janet Jack me. Ooh, I remember her. Heather oh, Hunter. Yes. Take it in the book. <laughs> Nasty ass wood. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you. <laughs> like, it was, it was, again, I don't know why okay. these women feel like they got to do all that. As long as you, you know, you look nice in your underwear, that's. Mm, Basically, what we care about. But I mean, my remember, you know, like beauty. I said, let the lights be off, and y'all both humping that. Listen, man, beauty you know is I mean? is subjective, man. Yeah, you know I man. Don't sit here. Don't, I'm don't sit tell here you, and act I'm like you don't hear you what, what you, I'm saying. Look, I'm <laughs> going to tell you if you're beautiful or not. Like, yeah, baby, you're beautiful. God damn it. I'm a I'm I mean, beautiful, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Damn it. Get your ass in this bedroom. I'm gonna light you up. I'm just I took my gin sing. <laughs> I'ma just uh you know, in the words of the illustrious poet, Teddy Pendergrass, close the door. Close the door. Hold up. Boo says on he's like, turn them off. Yeah. <laughs> turn them off. They already off, so you ain't gotta worry about that. You gotta feel around in the dark over to get Man. this big. You ain't gotta Shit. feel that much for them things. <laughs> Listen, at this particular time in my life, turn off the motherfucking lights because <laughs> My body ain't so oh. used to be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I want to see is my motherfucking belly. <laughs> Fuck what you heard. No, turn them off. <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, got my shit sticking out past my goddamn dicky do. Oh, shit. I remember one time this guy, he was like a... a he was like, as long as as long as your 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 butt is winning the race between your stomach and your butt. He was like, if your stomach is bigger than your butt, he's like, I ain't I ain't I ain't doing it. Your butt you. can't be smaller than your gut. <laughs> it just it just it, can't. Be. Is that what it is? Is yeah. that what it is? Uh -huh. Yeah, because it, 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 it throws the ratio off. Like when you see a woman who has a flat stomach and a fat ass, it's 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 so proportioned that it actually makes it look bigger than it really is. Right. Whereas mm. if you see a woman and she's bigger. And she has a nice ass, but she has stomach. When you're looking at her from the side, it's not going to look yeah, like it's, yeah. it's so big because she got front and back. So, oh, okay. All right. Well, I know about the proportion. That's like when a man shaves. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What? It makes his, oh, his Johnson look. <laughs> uh, video number two. <laughs> we <don't... laughs> oh, God. Uh, can we get an apology, please, YouTube? I didn't do nothing. How you doing, YouTube? <laughs> Again, this is this joint podcast. We do not promote any <laughs> pornographic <laughs> images on this platform. I didn't do we anything. love and respect the community, and we definitely respect the guidelines. Thank, thank you. you. Th yes, th yes, thank you for yes, my apology. Yes. He's my spokesperson. <laughs> I'm the spokesperson for the company. I do not represent you as an individual. 
Because you will fuck around and get people fired. And demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, goddamn. And subscribe. So we, side to number two. Number Let's two. Go. T. Los. Can we get that? Can we get the Spanish shit? Look, wait a minute, wait a minute. In honor of Gladiator 2 dropping this week, can we get some Spanish? What Gladiator Spaniard 2 got shit? to do with me saying 2 in Spanish? I don't know, but shit. Give it to us anyway, goddamn it. Dos. Very strong, but okay. okay. You know what? I like how that D just rolled off your tongue. Hey, <laughs> Whoa. I, I like how that D just like. Whoa. It don't just roll off the tongue. Community guidelines. <laughs> the tongue rolls around it. Oh, no. Video, video number two. Video number two. <laughs> there it is, y'all. There get, it is, y'all. We ain't going to get monetized on this episode. I can feel it. Monetization is over. It rolls in something else. Well, oh, Lord. we definitely so, so, video number two. <laughs> Listen, y'all. We're we never going to be able to get super chats at this <laughs> point. <laughs> Ain't no super chats popping off. <laughs> Ain't no super chats popping off. <laughs> look, look, video number two. Look, we're going to react to this sour candy reaction by content creator Scar Pranks 647. I can tell there's going to be some dumb shit. Yeah, it's going to be some dumb shit. But I enjoy the dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's this Trump podcast. Oh, let's go. Here we go. They having seizures out there. Listen, just to let y'all know, I ordered that goddamn candy. Oh my gosh, I need to try that. Listen, the candy is called Black Death, and yes, this joint will be doing that shit on oh, air man. next week. I, I need to try that. <laughs> well, <laughs> them joints gonna be trying that, just like they tried the nappy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Them two is going to try out Black Death because I'm Come not on, bro. doing that shit. Come on, bro. Uh -huh. You're going to do the Black Death. I didn't do the oh, cinnamon see, challenge. Man. Don't be so I boring. I ain't doing none of that. Mm -mm. I'm, I, I, I'll mess around. I will take one of them. I'm going to knock all this damn equipment over. The show will be over in 10, <laughs> 10 seconds. I done fell out, knocked everything off. The computer that went out, the oh lights. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm. Come on, T. Yes. T, we're we, we going to do the Black Death, I'm T. Gonna try, I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try it. All right. I'm gonna try it. Boy, your jaw's gonna be sucked in oh, like a mug. Man, you know Can what? I, um, before y'all start, uh, y hopefully I'll be able to finish the show after that. Because, <laughs> um, first of all, I don't even do anything sour. Listen. So I just wanna need some water. Can y'all give me the some name next and week. the phone number of y'all beneficiary <laughs> before y'all do it? I need to be able to call people and tell them y'all are at the hospital and y'all y'all need to be attended to. Oh, gosh. Hey, man, hey, I'm doing it. I can't. I'm doing. I hate sour anything, so I, I I can't do it. It's all in the fun, Mister. As I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with getting your jaws a puckered up. Whoa. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm cool. I'm definitely cool now. <laughs> getting jaws puckered is not in my vocabulary. I'm sorry. I bet you like something else puckered. Oh, hey, yeah. that ain't got nothing to do with my jaws. <laughs> I'm cool off of that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. We are doing it, boys. Look, look, let's go to the comments, man. Let's go to the comments. So, first comment is from Tina Jai. Tina says, I'm not eating sour seizure candy. Thank oh you, God. Tina. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm not having a seizure over a piece of candy. I'm cool. <laughs> Listen, that shit said black death. Nope. We'll see what happens. And but look, you know what? Look, look, hold on, tape before when I looked it up. You get three balls. Balls. <laughs> Super balls. You get three balls for four ninety nine. 
All right. All I know is it better be the last. It, we we got to do that at the end of the show because I don't know how I'm going to be, how my body going to react to that. I don't know. Oh, you don't want to put two balls in your mouth? <laughs> it's John after dark, dark, dark. So. <laughs> I ain't even saying that we need God. It don't even matter. Because I don't need CJ hollering at me again. He done already hollered at me so far tonight. So How did I holler? Yeah. El Boogie he, said he tried. He, chast, he chastised me. Okay, Listen, El Boogie, you El come Boogie. on El the Boogie show. El Boogie said he tried. Okay. You come on the show. Let us know. Yeah, El Boogie, well, come on the know. show, bro. Yeah. Yeah, dog, we got you. Yeah, dog. you come up here, you can take my spot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> come on, El Boogie. I got a ball for you. Awesome. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, hey. Yes, Diddy. <laughs> yes, Diddy is wild. <laughs> Lowe's is a mess. <sighs> Shout out to Diddy, man. I heard his cell got raided uh, yesterday or the day before or something like that. Wait a minute. How, how the fuck his cell get raided? I don't know. But I just what the fuck is Diddy going to sneak in there? <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. You know he got yeah, some, man. You know he got some filet mignon up in there. Oh, he got some of that baby oil. <laughs> yeah. hey, Diddy, Diddy in himself. I'm like, yeah, take that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's, let's go to the comments, man. So. <laughs> the first, the second comment. It's like second comment is from Mary. What's his name? Marilyn Donaldson. Marilyn Donaldson, thirty four. She says the lady in the car lost four con- full control. Yes, yes she, yes, she did. did. Yes. Oh my god, she looked like she was like, oh my, about to like, what's it? What's that? Uh, that she scary lost her movie? Fucking mind. Oh my gosh. Well, she <laughs> was looking. <laughs> Like she was possessed by a demon. <laughs> That's why it's called Black Death. <laughs> she looked like she was possessed. <laughs> Boy, that sour shit got up in her mouth. She lost her goddamn mind. So the, the second comment, I mean, third comment, I'm sorry. I'm off. You know what, man? Hold on a minute before I read that comment, man. I got I to gotta re-up on the wolf. Bro. Oh, here you go. It's a wolf time. That's big dog drinks. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, big up to my 76ers, you fucking scrubs. I don't even want to talk about that. I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is the guy that can't get no love from me. Can't get about the passenger side and the best fans uh, ride and they're trying to holler at me. Thank you. I don't um, want no scrub. Yeah. What? Honey you, dip tea? No, you are... I don't even know what letter. <laughs> honey TLC. Dip. No, I H? am honey dip tea. You wasn't in that? I don't remember that being in uh, TLC. In the group. <laughs> Because I never said I was in the group well, CLC. You were singing like you was taking over for left eye, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's old left tit over there. Left what? tit, Damn. yo. <laughs> tit is crazy. <laughs> you don't need nothing crazy else to word. drink, Lowe's. Left no, no, eye and left for tit you. is crazy. <laughs> yo. I'm going to take a sip of my shit. I ew. Mm. Okay, therefore, next. Okay. Um, I'm going to do one more comment. So, last comment is from Jer, uh, Jenny. Jenny Lynn, and she got a bunch of fucking numbers behind it. You can see it in the replay, because I ain't reading off them goddamn numbers. So, she says, I'm torn between not wanting to look crazy and wondering how sour it is. Well, Jenny, don't record it then. That way you won't know. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Jenny, you know you want to try it. Okay. Go ahead and order it, Jenny. Yeah, I don't want nobody looking at me like I'm all crazy. So, uh, yeah, I can try it, but you can't record me, Lose. Oh, we recording that. Thing. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Looking like Don't you. act like you ain't making them funny faces because... I'm sure that you made funny faces when you doing the, the the dirty the dirty deeds. It ain't funny faces. They're they're sexy faces. Hey. Hey, and, and let me say, nobody's face looking sexy when they doing the dirty deeds. You don't know what I'm doing. But uh, nobody's face look sexy, <laughs> especially when it's that time to hit that mountaintop. Hey, you two. <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta keep doing this. Um, please don't shadow do this. <laughs> Just some entrepreneurs trying to make content. This is I know this is not corn hub or XXX or any of them other platforms. Hey. I don't know why I just keep showing up here, but I would like to apologize. I really hey. do love the community. I actually went out and fed the homeless last night. <laughs> So I hope that you could take that 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 bit of gratitude that I did last night Ooh. and not demonetize. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you too. We respect the guidelines. Thank you, Lowe's. 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 Thank you, Lowe
Thank you, spokesperson. It's all T fault. <laughs> yeah, it man. is not my fault. <laughs> Whatever, man. As L Boogie would say, super pause. <laughs> mm. Yeah, man. L Boogie, we hitting the Sixers game this year, bro. Ski. Shoot, the way they look, the tickets should be $5. What? That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's why we're going to hit them goddamn sixes. <laughs> this is the best time to go. You know what I mean? Since teen over there is sleeping with none of the players, shit, we can't get no discount <laughs> on her behalf. How you going to disrespect me like that? So listen, video that number three. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> How you just going dis- to disrespect me like that? Shit, girl, you got to use what you got. You got to use what you got. To get what we want. To get what you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, God damn. Look at T. Y'all look. T what almost played a replay, it? y'all. T <laughs> almost played a replay. Not me. <laughs> Why he always blaming me for stuff? All right, man. So where we at? So let's go to let's go to the next video, man. Video number three. Right, let's go to the next video. So video number three. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me tell you something. Video number three. Y'all gonna love this because I'm sure everybody has a complaint about their goddamn employer. T, you know what OCDA is, T? I don't know, I'm asking you. Do you know what OCDA is? I'm asking you, what is OCDA? Well, OCDA is a real company that will handle your real complaints. Would you like to know? Sure. Let's find out. Okay. Yeah, it's Fish Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. What is that? What is your company doing? How was it formed? OCDA is an acronym for Occupational Cares Diversity Affairs. Uh, and what we do is people go to my website, they file a complaint about their boss or their supervisor, anything like that. We show it to the job and we cuss their ass out. Yeah, all, all, everything you want to say to your boss, everything you want to say to your boss that you can't say, y'all contact us, go to our website, ocdaofficial.com, and we'll show up and say all the things you want us to say verbatim. Is it anonymous? Like, do they know who's... Oh, yeah, the complaints are totally anonymous, but I say everything verbatim, so you can curse on your complaints. I'm going to curse anyway. (laughs) Look, and I was just about to say, like, now they about to get these people fired, but he just said it's anonymous. Okay, so therefore... No, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. He just said it. He said it's anonymous. Listen. Well, it's anonymous, like... He'll he'll read your complaint verbatim, but he won't tell your boss. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Because my the first thing I'm thinking is is when he's reading this to the boss, is the boss going to know who was coming from? No, I seen him. I seen seen one of the videos, and he's talking to the guy in the uh, like in the lobby of the job, and the guy don't know who he is. He's just telling them the complaints, though. But I mean, if your boss know your dialect, if your boss know your dialect. They gonna know I'm where sure, it's coming from. I'm sure if a mother come to my boss, I'm like, yeah, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> oh, that's loose. <laughs> hold, hold on. Oh, that's loose right there. Listen, <laughs> yes, they this, are. <laughs> listen, this is some of the employee requirements. You have Hit to it. have a master's in verbal artistry. What? what? Knowing how to cuss isn't just allowed, it's encouraged. What? Express yourself. Back talk black belt. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can't mind talking back? Perfect. We value strong opinions and even stronger voices. Interruption imperative. Master the art of cutting someone off mid-sentence. It's about <laughs> asserting yourself. Goodness Parental gracious. profanity prowess. If you cut if you cuss at your kids often, you'll fit right in. Oh shit. Hygiene hero. Great hygiene is non-negotiable. <laughs> Smell good, feel good, work great. Oh my god. Iphoniac. An iPhone isn't just a device, it's a way of life. Make sure you're part of the club. <laughs> Ugliness, unacceptable. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But let's just say we trust our eyes a lot. <laughs> this dude Look, is a hold mess. Up. This is the last one. Educational, uh, high school diploma or GED, kind of required, but we're more, inter- we're more interested in street smarts. <laughs> this is a I real like company. I like this dude. Yo, Yo look. Oh, wait, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss Minnie, Miss Minnie says, is there a monthly subscription? <laughs> I'm telling you, you go on a site, the first thing you see is submit a complaint. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this boy's not playing. That is ingenious. Ingenious. Listen, let me tell you something. That boy, 
he fucking struck a gold mine. <laughs> he struck a gold mine, boy. Oh my gosh! Imagine the stuff like, uh, but you know what? All my employees like me, so I know I ain't gonna get into them phone calls. But can you imagine get one of them? Yeah, though? okay. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine get one though? T, would, would you be upset if he got one? I know I wouldn't. Yeah, they be like, yeah, you black bitch. I ain't that like you anyway. <laughs> always, always coming off like you happy and you like everybody here. Knowing damn well you go in that office talking shit. Yeah. We know. We be seeing you. No. And you always on your damn phone talking about all this other, oh, I love my employees. Bullshit. Yeah. Talking about you want a goddamn report at 513. You know the goddamn park side got them happy wings at the happy all, hour in and that 5 Especially all, when I, I see you leaving at three o'clock every day. <laughs> what the hell you think I, this is? You want to report at nine forty-five? But you said you've been here since six o'clock. I ain't seeing you. Ain't not a damn soul song going. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh boy, can Coming you imagine? Up. Coming up, he got the yeah. Exactly. You, you got to go in there and doing it like. <laughs> that. He said it's anonymous. Oh god! But he will read it verbatim. Yo, listen. Oh my God! Well, you <laughs> that gotta is love hilarious. it. Let me tell you something. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So look, okay. we gonna we, we, uh, we gonna go to I the gotta, comments. Gotta look them up. Yo, this, real listen. Real. I looked it. up I said, "Oh shit, so, this shit is real." Facts. <laughs> this shit is real. All right, look. So the first comment, <laughs> first comment is from Shorty Low. Shorty Low says. <laughs> Hiring a company to crash out on your behalf is straight villainous activity. <laughs> Listen, if my job did me dirty, man, I would pay him handsomely. What? I would give him the picture of all the people that I need him to curse out, and I'd be like, "Bro, I need you to, I need you to go Eddie Murphy wrong." <laughs> I don't even get need you to get no script. Think about, think if, if, if that that your baby mama that you hate or. Uh, think about Go it. Ham. I don't hate anyone. Go ham. I yep. am all full of love. <sighs> so you were saying, bro? <laughs> Comment number two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, T. The whole thing. See, T. You wouldn't send it unless you know. I mean, you send it because I'm just. I'm just joking. Yeah. No, no. I'm saying because you know you're in upper management, so you would be the receiver. I know that, but I mean, who's this? I can send it to anybody. Right. Who are you gonna send to the president? Hey, you never know. Ain't that, you know what? That's a that's a good idea. Listen, hey. y'all ever seen Tia Kemp on that podcast with uh with um uh Black China Mom? Uh oh yeah. It's oh, like, they they be going at oh, it. Oh my god, they she, both crash. Yeah, out. she could. They could definitely be on his team too. Yeah, he's like, they be they be drawn. <laughs> No way, Miss Minnie talking about I would be hired as a VP immediately. <laughs> uh, you know what? What you need to tell her? <laughs> Minnie, what you need to tell her? <clears throat> I'm, re I'm ready to hire him to send a message to T over there. Message to who? For me? For you, what? To you. To you. Hey. I, don't like, I don't like the way you be treating me and CJ. I don't even be doing that. First of all, I don't like the way that you and CJ treat me. Whoa, whoa. What did I do? First of all. Y'all be treating me like a stepchild. Ooh, I'm trying to make sure we stay within the guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, First of um, all, y'all don't see how they treat me off air. <sighs> off air? See, that's the bullshit right there. <laughs> it ain't. It so, ain't. um, yeah. Um, see? You know yeah, London say. Madison says... <laughs> Sir, stop limiting yourself. Weddings, anniversary, any family reunion, <laughs> yeah. funerals. Sometimes people, I know that's people right. want to say things at See? funerals and scared <laughs> you will be a billionaire. See? Like I just said, now, I can send it to anybody. Anybody now, anybody. London, London is on to something. Yeah, I, it's some people in my family. I hope was, your family not watching. If it wasn't for my mama, man, oh man. Ma matter of fact. My sister is in in the chat, so trust me, she can she can she can vouch for. There's some people in our family that if it wasn't for our mother, they would have been got stuck. They probably got punched. Go with God, CJ. Listen, I am with something. God. Let me tell you something. I I send I send him to my mom. Didn't God didn't God send the flood down? He got tired mm -hmm. too. He flooded the earth. Man, you know? I'm, I I be like I be like. Just because you brought me in this world, don't think you own me, goddammit. 
That's you, what you, you think she know who this is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you sure you want to send that one? I don't know if you want to push uh, submit on that one. <laughs> All right, look, let's go to the third comment. So third comment from Tatted Truth. Mr. Truth says, these these complaints are anonymous, but I will read them verbatim. It's going to get a couple people in hey, trouble. We're going to get a couple people in trouble. Hey. Yeah. You got to be a little crafty with some of that hey, if your boss know your dialect, yeah. they're going to pick it up. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. They're going to pick it up. But then again, if they only know you on a professional setting, then maybe they really don't. Yeah, because if you hit them with Because it's the, a difference between me outside of work and me at work. So, hey, you want to get the the polite... Yes, yes, absolutely. How can I help you today? So, you're saying you're a, fake. You're a freak at work, <laughs> but you're a super freak so, outside of work. First of all... Community, community, <laughs> community. The freak, the freak does not community. touch work. <laughs> community. But then again, it has some God lives. <laughs> In the bathroom. OSHA. Oh, there it is. Okay, HIPAA. One of the guidelines. Can we just follow one of them? OSHA, HIPAA. I don't care what the guidelines are. Hippocratic oath. Can we just follow some kind of guidelines here? God damn. Jesus, we're trying to get this platform off the ground. <laughs> you we know, never yo. gonna make it. <laughs> Y'all not following the <laughs> Look, you knocking the damn lights down. And... <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <What>? Christ. <laughs> Well, YouTube be like, you know what? We we, we can't monetize them guys. Maybe you <laughs> we maybe, can't monetize them three over there. Y'all. Maybe you could send a, a message to Melissa Four and see if you could join Hot and Bother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Yes, sir. Let's go right. Yeah, I mean, so wait, uh, T, number four, T. Number four. Yeah. What? Uno, dos, God damn, T. Get, get, get the Quatro. goddamn Spanish. Oh, I, look. Quatro. Quatro. That's not how that's said, but okay. Then you say it then. Quatro. Quatro. No, not cra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, roll the goddamn tongue. Okay. Sound like number you four. Go. Oh, God, again. I can see this coming. Number four. Can we just get the four, please? <laughs> can we just please get the four? Oh, my God. I can see this coming. <laughs> yep. I can see the letter hold in the mail now. Hold up. Hold up. I can see the letter oh, in the mail. Oh, well. Yeah, um. So, video number four. <laughs> that was uh, tonight's episode. So. <laughs> yeah, um, loyalty test story time by content creator Shamar Allen. I believe that's Allen. I don't know, man. He spelled his name spelled so. You know what, man? Just play after the video. tonight, you know what? We're peanut that man. You know what I mean? God, we need peanut live. Maybe she, maybe she gives us a little bit of energy. <laughs> Let's go. So I got a story time for y'all ass. Buckle the fuck up. And yes, I have permission to tell this story. So I'm at work the other day and one of my friends hit me up, called me three times in a row, but I was busy. Soon as I got free, I called him back. It's a dude I went to high school with. I known him for years. I call him back and I say, bro, what's good? You all right? You hit me up three times. He said, yeah, bro, I got a little dilemma. I say, cool, bro. What's the issue? Talk to me. He said, bro, you know, I've been going to school for this computer shit for years and it's finally about to pay off. I just got hired by a company that's about to pay me $300,000 a fucking year. So he's going from making fifty. $52,000 a year to damn near $300,000 a year is fucking crazy. I said, bro, I'm so fucking proud of you. You deserve it. Let's celebrate. Da, da, da. He said, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get into all that shit, I need your help with something. I said, okay, okay. My bad. What's up? He said, you know, I've been with my girl for like four years now. I said, yeah, absolutely. Y'all been holding it down for a little minute. That's what's up. I said, I know she happy as hell. You about to change y'all lives forever. He said, yeah, that's my point. He said, I kind of want to give her a loyalty test before I let her know that she ain't got to work no more, before I propose, before we start having kids, before I let her know it's good news. I have to know for sure she's the fucking one. I said, fool, I completely understand. Do you have anything in mind? He said, no, nah, that's what I need your help with. I ain't got no fucking ideas. I said, okay, cool. I'm going to call you back in an hour. I called him back in an hour and I came up with this. I said, bro, I got it. He said, what? I said, bro, instead of trying to find out if she would be down for you, if you if came up with all this money, we got to know how she would would act if she came up with all this money he said how the fuck is we gonna do that i said get her a fake lottery ticket he said that shit sound dumb as hell what the fuck is you talking about i'm on my way to spencer's to get one right now so he goes to spencer's gets a fake lottery ticket to make it seem like you won five hundred thousand dollars on a scratch off i said fuck it we in it now go grab some flowers go grab some food go grab a real scratch off and go grab that fake one give her the fake one give her the food and the flowers and just walk out the room and scratch yours off and see how she react when she see that she won her five hundred thousand 
did just that. Bought her some roses, some sesame chicken with some lo mein, and handed her that fake ticket and did just that and waited for her reaction. Now, I'm thinking he's about to hit me back and say that, oh, she scratched it off. And she was like, oh, babe, we won. Look what we won. We got 500000 We straight. We got money to go travel and save us. I thought that was going to be what he called me back to tell me and be like, yo, we good. And I, and I told her the good news. And now we okay, right? This, this is genuinely what the fuck I thought. He hit me back and said, yeah, she scratched it off, but she ain't say nothing about it. I say, cool, 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 calm down. Maybe she don't know how to read it. Maybe she confused. Maybe she want to surprise you in a different way. I don't know. I'm trying to be fucking optimistic. He said, I seen her take a picture of it and send it to somebody. So I said, ask her, ask her about it. Ask her, did she win anything? Like, hey, babe, we got $20. We got 20 uh, extra $5. He said he asked her and she said, no, I don't think we want nothing. I'm going to just throw it away. He says, OK, whatever. But now I have to find out who she sent this picture to. So within the next couple hours, she finally left her phone alone and he grabbed it to see who she sent the picture to. And she sent it to her fucking sister to say, is this real? Did I really win this much money? Her sister responded back and said, hell fucking yeah. And his girlfriend responded to her sister and said, oh, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. And he don't even know it. Mm hmm. I was like, bro, just find a reason to bring up money. Find a reason to bring up money. I said, tell, tell, tell her that you, that they took all your bills out at one time and you need an extra hundred dollars because they took everything out at once and you ain't got it. Just see what she say. Just, just bring up money and ask her for some money and see what happens. He said that she said she needs the extra money because she's about to go visit her mother in New York. She's about to leave. Well, she thinks she is and never come back. That's, that's, that's her fucking plan. Not knowing that this was a fucking lie. Now, he still hasn't reacted to her. It's been two days. He still hasn't reacted to this whole situation. He's still making her think that she's about to cash this shit in or whatever because it was over the weekend. I guess you can't can cash a fucking scratch off. Anyway, she, yeah, he still, he still hasn't reacted. He's still asking me. I say, just let her think she gonna go. Just let her go. Just let her go. And by the time she come back, be moved the fuck out. That, that's what I say. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do a part two to this because he still hasn't reacted to the fact that she still thinks it's real. She put it in her suitcase and she's about to go to New York. And I'm guessing she thinks she's going to cash it when she gets to New York with her sisters and her family and shit. I don't know, but I'm going to have to keep you all posted. But I think this goes without saying. Um, loyalty test fucking failed. <laughs> she was about to have her whole life changed. Whole life. She, he was about to go in the house and say, baby, you ain't got to work no more. And just that. That split second, gone. So yeah, I will keep y'all posted and let y'all know how this unfolds. You know what? Let me before I pass this all. Let me say this. He knew. He knew. Do that loyalty right. test bullshit. He knew. Yeah. He just needed some validation, man. Let me tell you something. Confirmation. It, confirmation. Validation. Yeah. Right. It, man. At the end if of you the day, got you know any doubt, then uh, yeah, uh, something wrong. Mm -hmm. Something wrong. He just he I, it sounds like he already knew he wanted to confirm because at the end of the day it's like okay you always had that intuition with some but at the end of the day it's like you got to give that person that test or you got to test yourself some kind of way but and see, here it is it's like he just gave her the ultimate test like if that's the case why do people and stay she in miserably. relationships if you're not even happy like why if you won't leave like that doesn't make sense why are you with this man but I mean, but if you have any, if you don't have a strong conviction for your partner, I can't, I can't you, deal with you. Yeah. yeah I, can't I, I can't rock with you. Period. I can't do it. I can't if rock I, with if you. I, if, I, if I, if I, if I'm, if I'm already on the, on the, it had the thought, the, uh, the this thought? Mm. <laughs> you got the thoughts? Okay. The hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The thoughts, baby. <laughs> you know who got the thoughts? <laughs> <now>. <laughs> yeah. The this is hey, what I was go ahead. To say. Please, please explain. It. Please the explain. Do tell. Do the tell. Thought. Thought. Mm -hmm. thought. Yeah, the thought. Go ahead, please. If I already had a thought that, uh -huh. you know, I'm not happy in this relationship with this man, why am I going to continue with it? Especially because relationship takes two people. Yeah. So, what's the point? If you can just up and leave this man <sighs> at the drop of a dime. Obviously, Listen. there's there's nothing to it. She does obviously doesn't love him. Listen, T, that half a G was going to burn out with all that That's money if she would have won without blinking. And, and you know what I mean? Without blinking, is, is he sound like he's probably? I mean, it's two sides to a story. But if he was willing to do that, 
she's taking up that space for a, a, a woman that can actually probably deserve him. She sounds like she doesn't True. deserve him. Somebody True. else can have that man. True, but men men are like that. Men are like that. You know what I'm saying? As soon as that Y'all plane would have landed in New York, <laughs> just got paid. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> Click, and I'm hanging up on her ass. I mean, I'm, like, I'm hanging up on her ass. You, you got me messed up. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to set a life up for us. And you gonna call your sister and say, "I'm out of here." I, I ain't even a social media type. I would have been on live story every two minutes. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I would be, I'd be. Uh, you see me on live. The the, the background my, would be my computer finding me a flight to somebody's island. Hedonism. Here I come. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, Mocha Fest, here I come, baby. Because I'm single and I got money. I'm out. Listen, his mistake, I'm going to tell you what his mistake was. What is it? He been new to sign. He yeah, been he new. He saw him, the shit. He been new. He saw it. He been new to sign. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if I'm in a relationship with somebody and I love my man, I'm not going to even think to even want to do something do some, like that. Exactly. I'm exactly. just not. Yeah, you know I mean? Why would I want to give you a test? Look, because at the end of the you. day, for me to even think that, that must mean there were some signs before that. T, let, let me, listen, let, 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 let me tell you. Let me tell you. As a friend, as a friend, I'd be like, man, we ain't doing that dumb shit because you're playing yourself. Leave that bit. Leave, leave, uh, I ain't going to mm-hmm. use the B word. Unstable mm-hmm. creature. Leave that heifer G. Tell her, you, yeah, you got that good job. And you not sure about this relationship, and move on. Don't be throwing all them games. I just I, I can't stand people that play games. Don't play no games with me. Yeah, you know I mean, don't play no man. Leave that girl, man, because you knew the shit wasn't right. But you know what? Hold up. No, y'all be doing that that, that game stuff with us. We don't be doing guys because it. y'all do be saying it because y'all be saying how y'all be testing us females in the beginning, like to see how we gonna react. Well, it's in the beginning. Not somebody that you already established a relationship with. That was in in the beginning. In the beginning, yeah, you got you you got gotta in the them. beginning. You got to test these women because you don't know where they're coming from. Oh, you listen, know what I mean? I will hit her with the Trey songs. I don't want to leave, but I gotta, gotta go, go right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not coming back because I'm making three hundred k. Hey! Oh gosh! So look, let's go to the comment. So, first comment is from. Uh, Lady Lady London the Oracle <laughs> You know that's a, that's a fly ass name I like that um, She said the fact that he has to test her loyalty Is right. the answer in itself right. Right. She's not the one right. That's what the fuck I, that's what I was saying Right you shouldn't. You shouldn't have to do that. He had his doubts, and he got his boy sucked in the bullshit. Right. If any one of my friends called me and said, "Yo, man," I'm like, "Man, leave her." Yep. I ain't I ain't helping you out doing those because you know what's gonna happen. You no, know, you know what's gonna happen. We're going to do the test. You're going to find out that she ain't a shit. And then you still going to go back with her. That's he, true. I bet you he did. He took her back. You know why? You know why he took her back? Why? I'm going to tell you why he took her back. Why? Because immediately he didn't say, nah, this was this was a trick. Yeah, I caught you. Get the hell out. He going to take it. He, you he think gonna, he is going to take her back. So you're yeah, going to he is Yeah, he is sent. Okay. He is sent. Let me tell you something. Yeah, but you Simps, know what? Let me he, tell you, hold on, hold on. It's better to leave hold her on, now hold on, before hold on, you get married. Hold on, T. Hold on, T. Hold on, T. Hold on, T. You know, simps are the new tricks. They, they want in the same. As a male? Yeah, yeah. Male simps are, simps okay. are the new tricks called provider. But still, it still doesn't make sense because now you miserable. You you settling in life, and now you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life with somebody that you don't love, somebody that's taking advantage of you. And she's going to get half of shit. Right, <laughs> and then you're gonna be complaining later down the line when when y'all going through this whole divorce stuff, and you got to give her all your stuff that Evan, you done worked hard for, and she's sitting home cheating. Evan, look, next comment from Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter says four years, and you don't know if she's the one. Loyalty test. I'm glad he chose reassurance, but I think he already knew and just wanted to make sure before it's too late. That's what the hell I'm. You know what? Get him off. Get it. Goddamn! Look, I just spilled the drink, hit the button, and everything. See, he don't need nothing else to drink, y'all. Lo- loyalty ran it down. Goddamn it! Listen, I'm over loyalty here. ran it down. El Boogie put that hedonism is in the grill. I'm looking that up because um I'm, I'm gonna send the details over to uh what's my man name Shamar Allen or Allen or whatever. 
I'm going to send these details over to my man so he can send it to his homie so he can take his ass to hedonism and he ain't got to worry about this, bro. Yeah. It's very simple, okay? Like, you, 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 you ran a test on... Again, as men, it's a little bit different from us. Women, I can't speak for women because I'm not a woman, but the majority of the time when we got to do something, we already know something. Like, we already feel it. So for him to have to do all of that, he knew what the answer was. He was just trying to trick himself to see if he was going to be wrong. He was trying to trick it. He ain't trick her. He was yeah, trying to trick himself. He trying to trick himself to say, "Oh damn, well, right. Oh damn, she did. She she passed it. You knew the whole time. You knew it. So he ain't had to do all of that again. The moment she would have went to her mom's, I don't know if you got a Home Depot or a Lowe's or Ace Hardware or something. Change a lock. Locks would have been changed. Right. Uh, you can keep them keys. That's all with the text. <laughs> you can keep what? them keys. <laughs> like what the hell? Yeah. Holla back. Oh, yeah, gosh. so let's go to one more comment. Make this the last comment from Claire Marie. Side note: I appreciate how fast you told the story. I appreciate you. Yes, we appreciate you too because <laughs> we wouldn't have made this content. <laughs> Basically, what she's saying is like, could you have gotten to the point a little bit quicker? A little, a little bit because quicker. He was definitely a little bit yeah, long winded. I'm like, long-winded. okay, and come on, right. get to the point. He's a little long winded, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know he. He put the goddamn cliffhangers in there. Right. <clears throat> God damn, I mean, leave them half a G's alone. Exactly. <laughs> mm. I tell you, boy, y'all want women like T are no good. Oh, First damn. of all, <laughs> shots First fired. of all, I you am got no shots fired like that. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> T didn't pass many a test. Whatever. T. I ain't paying you no mind. Hey, T, but no, let me ask you. Have you ever Honey given- Dip T. You know my name. Hey T, so you Put ever give some respect it? on my name? I told you that before. Put some respect on my name, Honey Dip T. <laughs> yeah. You you ever test any of your men? No, cause I ain't doing all that. You ain't doing that? Mm-mm. None you of it. You ever shot any him? <clears throat> you ever? Have you ever um, tested them? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tested? Hey CJ. <laughs> have you ever tested a firearm? <laughs> <laughs> have you, you you may not have tested your men, but have you ever tested them with a firearm? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, okay. Lie detector test? <laughs> nope. Have you tested your <laughs> Smell <laughs> test? <laughs> nope. I ain't doing all that. Smell test. Oh, yeah, you, you, know know yeah. wow. oh, you know what? You're I know using with girl. some bitch. <laughs> no, no. So listen. I know a girl that used to do that when her dude would come in. Baby she powder. Would, she would like literally smell him or then like if he would automatically just go get in the shower. She'd be like, oh, why you get in the shower all of a sudden? What? Yes. Look like this. She would do that. Like she soap. would do that. <laughs> she literally would do that. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. That's diabolical right that there. That is boy. crazy. And for him to even settle for that crap, like literally, she would do that. I was like, listen, you, you stick your head down there, something gonna go up in your mouth. This yeah. smell like Irish Spring. We don't have that in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Tripping. Goodness gracious. All right, man. Let's go to video number five. So, let's go to video number five. Oh. <laughs> He's waiting for me. <laughs> Cinco. Yeah, there you go. So, video number five. <laughs> content creator. The TikTok content creator, Mike. Well, I'm sorry. Inspector Mike is showing us his tenant of the year. Okay. Yeah. Looks like my old apartment. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Where we at? Where we at? Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's Fish Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. And here we are again at another totally remodeled unit. And. Yeah, you gotta love. Oh, Jesus Christ. And someone's living here with their cats. Not sure if that's what he meant about cat ladies, but that's what this is about. Let's move on. There's the the cat. Oh, yeah. And that's where she sleeps. Oh my Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay, we're gonna move into the oh, other areas here. That's the wide angle, so we can really appreciate it. Yep, somebody lives here full time. There's the kitchen table for entertaining. Oh, Jesus Christ! 
Oh, you're still in here. Yeah. The sound of the voice, I think that was the tenant. I think that was the tenant. First of all, the okay. sound of the voice. You know what? And I'm going to speak on this on behalf of me as a landlord. Ain't no way in hell. First of all, why is he not doing regular inspections? There should be no reason why that how apartment, whatever, looks like that. So do you, 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 do, you do regular inspections on your properties? At least once a year. Yes, you got yeah. to. It's, it's no way that that looks like that. And so let's just say she had some kind of repair or whatever. Yeah. That first of all, I could tell that toilet was running. So at some point, you get in the water bill. I bet that water bill is high. You get in the high water high. bill showing that, that, the, that the water bill is escalating. So at what point do you go to the apartment to figure out why? Yeah. What needs to be fixed? That's years and years of The crack. crack filth. Right. Listen, for me, for my properties... What I do is in my in in the lease language, I put that there is going to be a mandatory monthly inspection. Do I go? Oh, every, that's a good idea. Do I go every month? No, but I want but you to. Is in there. Yeah, so because if I see that you're going to be a, a tenant like that, yeah, now I'm coming every month. I'm coming every thirty days because I want you to be on your p's and q's. If I see after a couple months that you're good, yeah, we probably do every six months to a year, but. There's no way in the world as, a, as an active landlord mm -hmm. you let your place get like that. Like that place, excuse me, ma'am, I'm going to need you to get your cats, get yourself. Yeah, I got to throw a bomb in here. And, and like literally blow no, this whole... No, you, you throw the whole goddamn apartment. No, away. I mean a grenade, not oh, a, not okay. a rain <laughs> bomb. Or a grenade. Like, throw it away. I'm going to blow it away. Whole, yeah, I'm blowing this away. whole building up. Like, the hell? That's just nasty. First of all, you can just tell that that apartment stinks. You could just well, look yeah, because look at all of the clutter. No. And the feces, the fecal matter. Obviously, she don't take baths. Look at the tub. And and at the end of the day, if that is a multi multi unit property, oh, you as know. a landlord, oh. you could get in trouble for that. Like for her unsanitary yep. conditions, mm -hmm. the tenants mm -hmm. start complaining. Now that's your problem. Yeah, so, because let's just say she got mice and roaches in it. Now that's going to start traveling to the other tenants. Not oh, mice. Not uh, Mike. I'm not oh, saying Mike. Yeah. They definitely are. Yeah. They definitely are. That's just horrible. Horrible. But you know what? Now, I think that whoever the tenant is has some sort of She's mental a hoarder. illness. Yeah, she's a hoarder. Possibly. Something. Yeah, no, because there she is, is a, no, no reason, no rhyme that your apartment should be looking like that. Yeah, but Period. still, again, that's more than one year's worth of filth. Oh at yeah. At some point, as a landlord, but when do you did you see the way the dirt and filth was oh, caked up yeah. around the toilet yes, and around, around the, the, tub? The, the, the tub? Because she's oh a, my gosh. She's a, because what a, what a lot of landlords do is when you have when you have the non complaining tenants, they just let them rock, never Especially check it in. She's paying. So she probably never. Yeah, she probably paid on time. Yeah. And just never said anything. So he like, all right, I'm gonna uh, let it continue. Yeah, just, I'm gonna just let her do a thing. Long yeah. as I'm getting, because it's all about the money. Long as I'm getting the money, and it's like. At the end of the day, like I said, she can no, cost you a lot. Because at the end lot. of the day, when she move out, imagine how much money he going to have yeah. to pay to fix that daggone place. Right. He's going to have to tear all of that Everything. stuff out. Yeah, it's going to be Everything. a brand new, brand new ground up, oh, damn near apartment. Woo! So let's go to one comment. So let's go to the first. First comment is from uh, Tony. Is it uh, Tony? Jane Garcia. Jane Garcia. Says, is there a model in the room with us? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I ain't seen no goddamn remodel. That was not a modern day apartment. <laughs> even if it was modern day, we wouldn't even be able to tell. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With all, cans. yeah. With all them cans and plates and everything all over the place. And now oh. you now I hope our viewers understand there's a reason why people charge pet fees. Yeah. Because pets add more, you know, dirt, more they can add more fill, especially if the uh, the, the owner's not cleaning up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just adds on to it mm -hmm. more. So now, yeah, that's why we got pet fees, because stuff like that. Yeah, like that. that's true. And there's no way in the world that lady had one cat. And just I was just cat. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Did, did we see one cat? I yeah, saw the black one. Cat. I saw the black cat yeah. that was on top the black of the, cat? Yeah. yeah. She but has I'm way more sure than one she cat. she had more. Way more. But the black cat was like... Get me the fuck out of here. He was in that one spot like, player, listen, once you head out, uh, leave the door open. Leave the door. right behind you, baby. <laughs> I was never able to escape. I'm out, bitches. Finally, y'all, they came and rescued me. Yeah, all, right. all right. Second comment is from Kyra. Kyra says, remodeled about 1937. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't see anything new. No. The stove was old. The tub was old. The toilet, the toilet was old. Everything was old in that bad boy. So man. once again, like like CJ was saying, like if you have this tenant that's been in there for years and she's paying and paying and paying, he so you ain't checking up on her, right? He ain't Ooh. doing no upgrades to that. Mm-hmm. He not doing no upgrades, so which means he probably wasn't increasing the rent either. But you could tell it, it looked like it was an efficiency. You see how yeah, it, it was, was really how small, was. small and tight. Yeah, it was the space the room, was the, the the bedroom. The bed was there, and he yeah, may turn how, the corner. There was and, no and, way for her to sleep. How could she sleep on top of that stuff like that? Because it's a mental issue. Like she don't know that mental she don't see issue. it. Yeah, yep. hoarding is. A, they have a whole show about hoarding. Yeah, because them people they really mentally they be off and they don't be seeing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I could just imagine during the summer, I don't know where they're located. How but, it smells. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. On a hot Ooh. ass day. Oh. Probably on fire. Smell like the goddamn zoo. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, stop all that hoarding, y'all. Get some mental health. Get some help. Listen, I wouldn't, if I order, listen, if I lived in that building, I would never eat in the house. <laughs> I would move. I How mean, about that? I mean, if yeah. I can't break my lease, I would I, move. I'm, I'm never eating in the house. Yeah, but you know the sad part about it is, is because I've cleaned um, someone's house that was a hoarder. That was a hoarder, was a hoarder before. Was it terrible? It was horrible. It took me two days. Just Are you to, serious? Just to clean, just the downstairs. So, like, did you, just did you just to, get like was, a, 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 a a shovel and man, just shovel and shit? When I tell you it was me and my two sons, they was literally throwing everything out. I would throw that. But out. guess what? He needed that house cleaned again that next year, and it looks like we never was in there. Seriously? Seriously. They, that's that's Seriously. a mental condition, mental health condition. Yeah, because it's like, all right, but it, for me, I'm like, all right, yeah, you can pay me again. Yep. Mm-hmm. Not me. <laughs> Once is enough. Huh? <laughs> I came back and said, oh, wait. Uh, yeah, so um, I got a herniated disc. I ain't but you know it. what? The funny thing about it was, is like, because this was a guy. So I guess to him, to an extent, he, he mm-hmm. felt some kind of way because it was like, you, I can clean the downstairs. Yeah, because I'm a female, but he didn't want me to go upstairs. I couldn't clean the upstairs. I only cleaned the downstairs. Yeah. He oh, don't want please you. tell me what the upstairs look like. I don't know. Because he don't, don't want know. you to I see know. where he, he... didn't want me to see it. He don't want you to see where he slang his thing and mm-hmm. how it's looking. Yeah, he probably, he probably got like about 14 of them sex dolls mm-hmm. and shit oh, laying Lord. all over the place. <laughs> Don't knock the sex dolls. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> you know I mean, he over there hoarding them sex dolls. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to. So, we did comment number two. Let's go to comment number three. It's from Hannah Thompson. I feel like this is the landlord issue for not doing a yearly walkthrough. Yep. This is avoidable with annual inspections. That's yep. exactly what it. I said. Yep. Y'all said it. Facts. Y'all said it. I'm telling you, like again, it, it's a business. So you, you like, like T said, it's gonna cost. It's gonna cost. Soon as she move out, it's gonna cost him like forty, fifty grand to fix that. Just to fix that shit. Exactly. Up. Fix it up. And if her security deposit up. is only nine hundred, mm-hmm. oh yeah, my you, god, you might as well just give it back to her. <laughs> there, I can't do that with that. Like, you might as well take. On. I'm gonna give it to you so you can take it to be somebody else's problem. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, that security ain't touching nowhere near the amount of repairs you got to do to that. And so, again, you think about it. That apartment was trash. If that's a multi-unit building and he has other tenants that are just paying and don't have no issue. She probably not the only one. Yeah, you can have, he he can say he got six apartments in that building. You can have four people that's like that. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, I'm cool. True. Yeah, I tell you now, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, it's subscribe. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So listen, we want to everybody to send a uh, super chat and everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got a little super chatters. Yeah, it's the super chatters. We got a little message for y'all. <laughs> tell them the message, Lowe's. <laughs> Tell them the message. Yeah, tell them the message. Okay, bye, bitches. (laughs) (laughs) 